How you doing guys? I'm Tom Worley with Angle and Volkers, your New Jersey real estate agent with local service and global reach. Thank you for tuning in and this is episode three of how we're gonna get your home sold from start to finish. And today what we're gonna talk about is a little bit about marketing and what you should be expecting from your real estate professionals. Let's talk. How you doing guys? Welcome back to episode three of my how I'm going to get your home sold from start to finish. And today what we're going to talk a little bit about is some basic marketing stuff that you should be asking and making sure that your agent does from a very simple marketing perspective that agents, some agents tend to overlook, right? Everything I'm about to go over today has had proven track record of ways that I've gotten homes sold in the past, right? And my marketing approach is going to be catered to the home that I'm selling but the roadmap for the most part stays the same, right? The behaviors and the things that we're going to do uh, have been proven. So we're gonna keep with those things. If it's not broken, we're not gonna fix it, right? So everybody that I work with, every agent, every, every home that I sell gets a custom marketing package and it gets a concierge level of service, right? Because as I talked about before is I work almost exclusively at this point by referral, right? So I can't afford to have you have a bad experience, right? Because I need you to become that walking billboard for me in your neighborhood, right? So I need to make sure that my marketing game is on point and that I can't waste time on marketing. I need to make sure that this experience is over the top good for you so you guys help me out on my continue to build my business on the back end, right? So here's some things that I am going to do for pretty much all of my properties, right? Number one, it's gonna be professional photos. My biggest pet peeve is when agents use their iPhone and they take dark photos on the, on the property, right? And they post it on the MLS. You get one shot, one shot at a first impression, right? When somebody's scrolling on realtor.com or Zillow or it hits their inbox from their, uh, from their buyer's agent uh, and they, they send it to them that, oh, this just hit the market, right? Bad photos will ruin that first impression. I, as an agent, am smart enough to know what I don't know. I'm not a professional photographer, so I don't act like it. I hire a professional photographer, professional real estate photographer to make sure that my photos come out and your home stands out from the rest. The other thing that I want to talk about that I do for my clients is floor plans. I want to weed out buyers who are going to walk through and say, ah, you know what? I wish that I had, you know, I wish I had a bigger primary bedroom. I wish I had a bigger living room, right? I'm going to put you out of your home for, you know, a couple hours a day, maybe while people show your home, right? Let's only have people come through there who are educated on the size of the home so that there's no excuse as to you know why they're not going to buy we want to make sure that we are only letting people through who are serious buyers for your home right and floor plans go a long way with that my other thing is videos right now not all properties get video right again this comes back to making sure that we have a custom package for my clients right some homes are built more for video. They have some things that need to really pop and stand out. And we need to highlight, right? Whether it be you know waterfront or you know you have New York City views or you know beautiful mountain views, whichever it is, right? You have a large lot of land and maybe the you know maybe the drone shot is going to really make it pop and stand out. Maybe you've done ridiculous upgrades where photos just aren't going to do it justice, right? But a video will really highlight the things that you've done and the care that you've given to your home, right? So not all homes get videos, right? But video is certainly in the tool belt of things that we want to offer to our clients and that should be offered to you right my other thing is going to be social media what type of highlights on social media are we going to do right i like to work with my clients and get them to share the listing right because you know they have a group of friends on instagram and and facebook and everything else i have my own group of friends on instagram and facebook my office has their group of friends agents in my office have their group so the more shares that we can get in social media right the way those algorithms work is the more clicks that they get the more it goes out and gets views and the more eyes that we can put this in front of the better chance that we have of getting your home sold quickly right so what type of social media marketing plan do they have my other thing is what type of agent network are they going to push this out to i spent a long time building my agent network my referral base for I can send a business from New Jersey all the way out to California, down to Florida, out to Montana, wherever somebody's going, I can handle that because I've spent a lot of time building an agent network, right? And what I do is when I take listings, I want to get that out to my agent network because I don't know who they know, right? I'm part of a group called the BNI, right? A networking group. One of our big principles is you don't know who somebody else knows, right? So if I can get agents in my office and agents outside and across the country, to share your listing, well, they may have somebody for it and we don't even know about it, 
right? So we want to expand our head here and expand our mindset to make sure that we get your listing in front of as many people as we possibly can, right? The other thing is, as I walk through your home, we talked about kind of, we're going to figure out what objections and things like that the buyers are going to have, right? We want to make sure that your agent has a good extensive network of professionals to handle those those objections, right? Maybe you haven't cleaned the gutters or the gutters broken, right? Well, it's curb appeal. We don't want to you don't want that stuff, you know, somebody's first impression as they walk up to see that, right? So we're going to make sure that we get that stuff taken care of. Maybe you haven't spackled the holes in your wall from hanging pictures or hanging your television a couple of years ago, right? So we'll make sure we get those spackled and get that wall painted. So make sure that the touch-ups and things like that are happening before photos because again, back to the original point, one shot at a first impression. Let's really use it and make sure that we make those photos pop and everything's perfect for the photography or videography that we're going to use, all right? My last thing that I want to talk about is staging your home. Staging a home goes so far in getting your place sold. It highlights the things that make your home so great, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my staging professional whose consultation is free, right? And she's going to walk through the home. She's going to give us a list of things that she would do, right? Whether it be going out and getting new furniture or whether it be, you know, just decluttering things, you'll be shocked at how far cleaning out your closets all right, and making sure that they're they're much you know less full, so that they you know aren't don't seem like they're busting at the seams. All right, how far that goes, and as a buyer opens that closet for the first time, goes, oh my god, look at all this room. All right, you want to make sure that we declutter the countertops. Right, so we're going to put together a list of punch list items for you to make sure that you take care of. And if you want to hire the staging professional to make sure that they really set it up, well, that's fine. We can certainly set that up, but we want to make sure that we get as many opinions on that as possible. So I'm going to bring that staging professional in. And now this is where. I'm gonna leave you for episode three because in episode four, I'm gonna actually bring my staging professional in and we're gonna sit and we're gonna talk about you know her top tips and what she sees and common mistakes when it comes to staging a home, right? Her name is Judy and we're gonna see her on the next episode, all right? So make sure, to hit, make sure you like and subscribe to this page for more updates. Again, I'm Tom Worley, your New Jersey real estate agent with local service and global reach. And as always, if you or anybody you know is thinking about buying or selling, Please let me know. I'm never too busy for your referrals. Talk to you guys soon.